Hello, and welcome to another Knitting Pod. I am Lena, and I'm so glad you're here today. We are going to have a little bonus episode today to chat about some birthday goodies that I got um, in the last couple of weeks. Last Friday, when I taped my normal episode, I didn't have one of them, and I have to apologize. I really wasn't feeling super great last Friday, so I feel like it was a really boring drab episode. Um, I don't know. I just was not feeling well. So I was really keen on getting back on and chatting with you guys and feeling like my normal self. So anyway, if that sounds good to you, let's do it. Let's jump right in. So one of the main things that I wanted to chat about to you guys was my new mood bag. Now, before I show you the one I got, I'm going to just tell you what instigated me even wanting to buy one because I should say this was a birthday gift from me to me, which I, the older I get, the more I, um, I just think it's really important that you celebrate yourself on your birthday, whatever way that is. And this year, I hadn't really given it too much thought, but then I saw Stephen West had posted a couple of times about some new bags that they are gonna carry in his shop, Stephen and Penelope. And I just loved this bag. It was, I believe the brand he was talking about was Redesigned, is the brand name. Um, and he showed a picture of this gorgeous bag that was kind of like a fold-out pouch, um, a very, you know, more on the small side. And I just loved it, but it was for pre-order and it was only available as far as I could find in his store in Amsterdam. So that kind of led me down the rabbit hole and I recalled how I had coveted mood bags in the past. Um, you know, they're very well known leather bags for makers of all types and they are on the more expensive side. So I had never just impulsively bought one. But then when I realized, oh, I really want a bag, a really nice knitting bag, um, I instantly remembered them and I started researching them online. And oh my gosh, you guys, <sighs> they have some stunning bags. Like the range of bags they have is unbelievable. They are a Danish company that started in 2016, so they've been around for a while, and I just, I'm guessing, because I don't know, I wasn't even a knitter in 2016, but I'm guessing they started small, and as they became, you know, more and more in demand and beloved, they just started adding more pieces to their collection, and their collection is really wide and deep. It's not just like, you know, all the same bags. It's just really, they have an amazing varied selection of bags. And what I liked is that I was able to buy one from um, a retailer in the United States. So I felt like I didn't feel too bad about the shipping. Um, I bought mine from Universal Yarns. I believe they're in Illinois. I don't actually know. But so to start with, I'm going to tell you guys which bags I was toggling between because I took several days to think about it and I'm really, really glad I did because the, in my initial instinct was to buy the Saturn XL, which I think is one of their more well-known bags. Um, I don't know if it's their signature bag that they started with, but it is such a gorgeous bag. I'm putting up pictures so that you can see what I'm talking about. It's a gorgeous cylinder shape and this bad boy is enormous. I cannot tell you the dimensions off the top of my head, but I will put them on the screen so you can see. It is a really big bag and I, my friends, love a big bag. I am a crazy bag lady. I want to take everything I need everywhere I go. Um, I don't know if it's a leftover from the diaper bag era where you had to have everything. I just, I find that to be really comforting. So I love a big bag. So my first instinct was Saturn XL. 
And then I also loved the regular Saturn, which is narrower and shorter. So I really, really was going to get the Saturn XL, but I decided to sleep on it. Um, I'm really glad I did because I realized even when I'm traveling either by plane or we're driving to the mountains or something like that, the knitting bag I want, I don't need, say I'm making a sweater, I don't need to carry around eight balls of yarn. There is no scenario in which like I'm gonna go through eight balls of yarn and never return to where I am. Like I'm not gonna be camping or something like that. That's a whole different story, but I am not a camper. So I'm going to have my other luggage accessible to me. So even when we go to the mountains, the bag I have for knitting only needs to carry at most two skeins of yarn and my project. To me, the Saturn XL is for someone who wants to carry around all eight or nine balls of yarn, plus their pattern, plus their sweater, and maybe all their notions and everything like that. This thing is huge. It's It just felt overwhelmingly large to me, and I'm really glad I sat on my Bag Lady Instincts and didn't instantly just purchase the XL. So when I kind of realized that I didn't want such an enormous bag because so much of my on-the-go knitting is like two hours here or two hours there. So I especially don't need to carry around all those bags. <clears throat> I mean, all those balls of yarn, excuse me, I'm gonna take a sip of water. So love the Saturn XL, but it just didn't fit my lifestyle. So as I dug deeper, they made a bag in the same shape as the Saturn series, but much shorter because I think maybe a lot of people felt like that. And that bag is the end turn. And that is the one after much deliberation I landed on and I bought. So I'm going to show it to you finally. Yay, here it is. This is my beautiful new mood bag, the end turn. And as you can see, it has that same incredible, unique shape where it is perfectly round and it has just such an appealing shape to me. I don't, I don't know why, but I love this shape rather than a rectangle or a square. I just really, really was drawn to this shape. So it has this incredibly perfect handle on top. I say perfect because it's it's not too long and it's not too flat. It's just a really comfortable um, size. And these are the kind of details that I think Mood has done an incredible job of. Just really well thought out details and I feel like they probably had some samples and kind of, I don't know, picked out the details that worked best and the sizes of those details that worked best. It's just a beautiful bag. It actually also has a long strap that buckles here and it is over there and I forgot to bring it over here, but I don't really plan to use that strap. I think it's great if you are someone who needs a strap over their shoulder or if you're traveling and you want to be hands-free i think it's awesome it is adjustable and it matches obviously this color all their bags come in two colorways this is the whiskey colorway and then there's a classic black colorway i am not drawn to black as a basic ever except for leggings i don't i don't know if it's because i have black hair and i like to have things that are contrasting or what but i just love camel i love whiskey colors i love browns as my neutrals so i also think the way leather ages is so beautiful and you can't see that in the black leather and you can see that in this you'll be able to see this get darker over time um and maybe you don't like that. You don't want that color change. And then I feel like the black would be awesome. So a few more details that are so well thought out. 
It has these two zippers that don't zip all the way, and then it has this snap enclosure. And that is so if you are knitting, you can feed your yarn out from here, but still keep this closed. And again, really, really nice detail. On the outside, it has all the way around, it has these pouches. And I really like how tight they are because they will snugly hold whatever you put in here and they won't fall out. So again, just such a really lovely bag. So the zips unzip all the way around to the back. And that was really important to me. I, some of their bags that are round, well, I can't remember the one that I was, I really liked. It was much smaller. It was round like this, but flat and it opened both sides, like both the bottom and the top, but the opening only came to about here. So this flap didn't completely open. I wanted a bag that completely opened like this because I wanted to be able to work out of it with the top open. So on the inside, on the top flap, there's a zipper pouch, which I think would be awesome for, you know, if you, like for me, this is big enough to hold all my knitting and then my car keys and my phone and stuff like basic things that I always have. I would put some of that stuff up here so that there's a zip and I don't have to think about it. On the inside, it's nice and deep and it has, on the inside, looser pockets because you're not worried about things falling out, which I thought is such a thoughtful detail. And then it is um, lined in, I, I don't know if it's vinyl or what, but easy to clean, so spacious, and I love it. So the way I used it this weekend, because when I went to my son's basketball game, we got there at 3.30 and I think there was the potential to leave at about 10 p.m. So I wasn't sure because it just depends on, you know, if they win this game, then they play at this time. And if they win that game, then they play at this time. So we were there till about 7.30, 7.45. So I wanted to take two projects. So in this bag, I was able to fit my, the shawl that I'm working on plus the skein of yarn. And then I also wanted to take the sweater I'm working on because I really just didn't know what I was going to be on the, in the mood for. So all this, which is a hot mess, apologies, but that's just this project. I was able to fit all of this plus my notions in the little pouches and it zipped up without any feeling of being overstuffed. And it's just this perfect, compact, little bag that I am now officially in love with. I really am. I think it is such a fantastic purchase. I paid $180 for it. And this is something that I'm kind of unsure about why, but I believe the Saturn XL is also $180. So I don't know why if they're basically the same price, why this is 180 and something twice as large is also 180. I don't know. But to me, I was more interested in getting something that really fit my lifestyle and that I was going to use. I also have a really beautiful bag from Ritual Dyes. It's their knitter's backpack. It's beautiful. I bought it at Rhinebeck when I went, the one and only time I've went, I went there. And it is a beautiful knitting bag. However, it's not, it's more of a bag that you can put your knitting in. Whereas this is a project bag that you can also put your stuff in and move around. Do you know what I mean? The fact that it's a very structured piece and you can open it pull your yarn out. Like I was just keeping my yarn in there and pulling from the balls while they were stayed in the bag. With the knitter's backpack, it just, it doesn't work that well. You know what? I'm gonna pause this and go get that so that you can see it, okay? Hold on. Okay, I am back and I grabbed my Ritual Dyes bag that I was talking about, the knitter's backpack. It is so awesome. If I wear this out, I get compliments from everybody, not just knitters. It's such a lovely, like it has such an easy vibe. 
Um, it has, you can either wear it over your shoulder, but I always wear it as a backpack so you can pull the loops through and then this is the backpack. Um, but as you can see, like it's empty right now, look how unstructured it is. Like I can't set this next to me and pull my yarn from it easily. It's like it doesn't double as a bag. I'm going to end up pulling my stuff out and laying my ball of yarn on the table or wherever. So it, it just didn't fit what I wanted from a knitting bag, but I love it and I use it a lot. It is pretty pricey. I, I don't remember what it was, but I'm pretty sure it was upwards of $200. So it's a pretty pricey bag, but I absolutely love it. It's got leather on the inside, it has a pouch, and then it's just got fabric lining. And like I said, this is shearling. They make it in, so I got the like rose gold version. We're all not surprised. It's just so soft pink and absolutely gorgeous. And there's also a regular beige cream version. And then she also has them in, canvas and various other materials on her website and in the shop um but i feel like they're always sold out because they're just really cool especially the fabric and the canvas ones they're less expensive than this shearling one but i fell in love with this at rhinebeck and i bought it so anyway i love that but it serves a very different purpose i haven't experimented yet with if this mood bag fits inside here no well sort of i mean it would be a tight fit i'd have to jam it and i i really don't want to do that so anyway back to the mood bag so i landed on the end turn i have loved it so much i feel like i made the perfect choice for me um with what their selection was the other bag that i really really loved was the lexi series so the Lexi is, the main Lexi is big, like I would say probably comparable to this, but it has like a rectangular shape. It reminded me, I really almost got this because I liked the pouches on the inside. I liked um, what the storage capabilities were inside. And I believe the main Lexi has like a divider inside so you can kind of organize your stuff a little bit in there and I really liked that um however to me it reminded me a little too much of like a toiletry kit um and I felt like if I was carrying that around without the strap people would literally think I was carrying like face lotion and sunscreen around and I I didn't love that I felt like this shape just felt a little more like a, it looks like a project bag. But I think the Lexi is amazing. And they have a Lexi mini that would be just the absolute perfect if you are a sock knitter or if you are like me, you love to knit hats in the winter. That would be a much smaller project bag from them that you could really toss into like your other bag. And um, I would totally get the Lexi mini in the future. They just have so many bags, you guys. They have gorgeous um, needle holders like so that you could transfer all your needles into there and have, I just dream of someday having like a matching needle set and um, smaller bag. And they just have so many beautiful accessories. If you are, um, if you have lots of knitting friends or your daughter knits or your mom knits, these would be such gorgeous gifts and I really do feel like you could get um, something at every price point like some of their smaller accessories are like 40 50 dollars and then they obviously go up all the way into the hundreds for some of their bigger bags um, even for non-knitters they have gorgeous pieces now another thing about them that I really loved was that they ethically source their leather and that was really 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 important to me. I am a vegetarian. I'm a just avid animal lover. I um, have a problem even buying leather. It's just, and yet here we are. I'm not perfect, but 
the fact that they source their leather from India where the animals are raised on small farms, are raised in pastures, and the animal is at the end of when they slaughter the animal, it is used for meat, and then the, the skins are used for leather. To me, that is an ethical use of the entire animal. It lived its life outside the way it was supposed to, not in cages, and the entire animal is utilized. That is the type of you know, leather that I'm going to purchase. And it's gonna be a very rare occasion that I actually purchase leather. Like to me, this feels like an absolute lifelong bag that will last and that I can enjoy and I'm not gonna just keep replacing it. And that's not environmentally friendly either. So I am absolutely, absolutely over the moon about my birthday present to myself. If you are um, looking for a little indulgence or, you know, at some point in the future, I really encourage you to check them out. Um, Universal Yarn really did have a lot of um, variety and in stock in both black and camel, or not camel, whiskey, I apologize. Um, so yeah, that is my mood bag. I'm so, so excited about it. Um, and I couldn't wait to share it with you. So I hope you loved seeing that. The other gift that I wanted to share with you guys was from my cousin, who's so sweet. She's also a knitter and a crocheter and a sewist, just an all around talented maker. And she sent me a birthday gift that was so thoughtful and gorgeous at the same time. So that's the best kind of birthday gift. She sent me a kit from Wonderland Yarns and it came with one main skein and then five mini skeins, which, oh my God, like what a treat. And it came with two patterns for the yarn. And I also think you could use this kit for so many other patterns. But first, let me show you what it is. She knows me so well. This is the main color. You guys know lately I've been so into the like mustardy colors and this one is just so, it strikes that mustard earthy, but also um, the neon note that's so, so just, oh, right after my heart. And then it comes with this absolutely beautiful fade. I'm, I'm trying to contemplate how I can hold this let me show you all the colors, the mini skeins separately, and then I'll try to hold them up. Oh my gosh, this just makes my heart sing, you guys. I love a good fade, and this is just such a good fade. It goes from like a grassier green to kind of a more, I don't know, this green has a little more yellow in it, and then into turquoise and teal. And with this, oh gosh, I don't know how I'm going to hold this. But how about we just bunch it up instead of trying to line it up? Look how pretty this is. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And the yarn is so soft. It's um, superwash merino, four ply, absolutely gorgeous. And the two patterns it came with, which I really like the fact that it comes with two patterns because, you know, I am a shawl person. So it comes with a shawl pattern that I think is so pretty. I'm gonna put a picture up. It's striped and it is um, triangular and it has like a center seam. It just looks like a really fun, easy, relaxing knitter's knit. Do you know what I mean? Like not complicated stitch pattern, but it has so much momentum because you're changing colors and watching that fade unfold. I think that is one of my favorite kinds of knitting. Um, and then the other one is an infinity scarf that's striped and absolutely gorgeous, which I'm almost tempted to do because I don't have a single infinity scarf. And I actually think they come in quite handy in the winter where I live because it is very cold and, you know, it keeps you warm and you can pull one over your head to keep your head and your ears warm. So I love them. They This was called the Mad Hatter Kit. And um, the main skein is 344 yards. And then each of these, wait, yes, no, yes, no, maybe. 
I'm trying to figure out on the spot. I actually think this is 430 yards. And maybe these total to 344 yards. I think that's right. Um, so anyway, I wanted to share that because it was like kind of the best gift ever because it was a kit in a color colors that I love. And I think she must have noticed that Truth Bomb by Spin Cycle, I was raving about this. Remember, I was desperate to buy this and I bought it in Portland. And to me, this is sort of like, this is like the deconstructed colors from this. And I actually have been trying to figure out a way to make a um, Andrea Maury, what's that shawl called? Night Shift. I love that shawl. I think it is so beautiful. I've made it in ages ago and I hated the colors I made it in, so I never wear it. So I really want to remake that. And I was wondering if I could remake that with all these. So that's another option in my mind is remaking the night shift shawl with this whole situation because it would be fun to work the spin cycle in, but I haven't quite figured out how to do that. So I'm not sure I'm gonna do that, but if I think I need to work out the yardages, like how to sprinkle this in throughout in a way that would look funky and cohesive at the same time. And that's a trick, right? So anyway, that was the other birthday present that I wanted to share with you guys because it was so thoughtful and so fun and another great idea as a gift giver if you are looking to give a knitter a gift. I They have so many different kits and colorways. For instance, in this Mad Hatter, they have lots of different color options. So if you have someone that you love and you know what their favorite colors are, it would be such a fun way to treat them. So anyway, that is that. So that is this video, you guys. It was a little bonus in the middle of the week, the beginning of the week. I hope um, it's a treat for you when you need it, maybe on a Tuesday night when you are tired and home from work and picking up your knitting. I hope that this was a fun little um, gift from me to you guys. So last view of my new mood bag. Check them out. I have to warn you, if you fall down the rabbit hole, it's going to be really hard to extract yourself without making a purchase. So sorry in advance, but you deserve it. You deserve a little treat, whether it's now or later. Okay. I hope you have a lovely week. I will see you for our regularly scheduled programming on Friday when we'll have a full episode, a full proper catch up. And this time I'll try to be myself. Um, I'm telling you, last time after I taped, I literally had to go lie down and I it felt like I was just like a lead blanket had been draped over me. I was just bone tired and I felt like it reflected in that podcast. So I'm excited to... Um, share my normal self with you guys. Okay, enough blathering. I will see you on Friday. Have a great week, you guys. Bye.